everybody, my name is Lost Forty Five. You're Nat Gamer, and how do you like my new intro, guys? Uh, I actually just made it earlier today because I finally found out how to download fonts with uh, WinRAR, and uh, pretty epic intro. I'd say it's fully uncopyrighted, so I can use it whenever, and YouTube can't complain about it. Awesome stuff there. Many people in Germany can finally watch my videos. Um, this video is up because of one reason in specific. It is not my best game, I will tell you that right now. No chopper gunner, nothing like that. If you're here for the chopper gunners and stuff, don't watch it. It's here because it is awesome. For those of you who haven't realized it yet, I began the game thinking that there were like seven people on my team, or five for the normal, you mean? I mean, and then about halfway through the game, I finally realized it is me and one other guy, no one else. I'm like, why aren't we capturing objectives? Because I normally play offense. I don't normally go for our objectives. I just go around the map and try and uh, support people with getting the objectives. And about, oh, uh, not, I guess, we into halfway through the map uh, game. Because right about here, I realized, holy cow, it is me and one other guy. And then a shotgunner kills me, of course. So, I kind of wanted to just tell you guys, it is possible to have a good game without have when you're outnumbered. Totally outnumbered. Because you look at this game. I believe I do 35 and 17, and it's me and the other guy, and the other guy dies constantly. If this was a team deathmatch, I would have totally beaten it up. Um, it was towards the end of my prestige, so I think two games after this, I finally prestige. Uh, definitely towards the end of my prestige, but it was amazing. I'm gonna tell you right now, I uh, I wish I played more games like this. I wish I could play more games where it was me and one other person. Because when you do realize that it's only you and one other person, you realize if you don't step up your A game, the game's gonna, uh, it's useless. Just leave the game right then. But I realized that there wasn't the one, only one other person. I had to step up my A game, or I would just fail miserably. So I quickly got into action, and uh, I started uh, playing a bit more seriously, uh, more offensively, more anything, basically, to win. And... I really just want to kind of make sure you guys realize you don't have to have teams in order to win. They're awesome, especially in Team Deathmatch, but think, Free For All is just another valid mode. And I'm pretty good at Free For All, actually. It suddenly I can do, sorry guys, uh, better at. But other than that, I kind of wanted to actually talk about something else. And that is the live stream tur uh, tournament draft. I don't have 50k subscribers, so I'm clearly not in it. But something happened when they were drafting uh, teams. So I believe it was the part where Woody was choosing his next character. It was uh, Pwnstar he chose, and then I'll put Pwnstar's in it. He hasn't made a video since the draft, so I don't know if he's in it or not. He said he wasn't gonna be, but he's still on a team, and hopefully Woody's not down a man. But uh. So I was checking that out, and uh, the guy named Alki, who was a billionaire, hosted the thing. He is some, I'm going to say right now, he's a total jerk. If I was there, I would have dropped out when this happened. But the first thing he did was he told the people there that he was going to live stream assisted suicide. That right there, that's the point where I would have been like, no, I'm sorry, I dropped out of this tournament. If my team wants to play still, it's their choice. I drop out, find a new captain. I know a lot of people are like, of course, everyone does that. And I do realize that when that moment comes, you don't want to step up to that billionaire because you don't know what he could do to you. But I just can never do it. I My morals are too tight as a person to allow someone else to do something like that in a way that it will affect me. Because if I had won that tor tournament knowing that he is paying someone to commit assisted suicide, that that's a no to me just right then and there I, I would not take that money that's like a blood diamond to me so that is something that I was really ashamed to hear and then Woody's gamer tag who is the guy who drafted Pwnstar who I'm really interested in seeing what happens there um stated that it was a hoax okay right there I'd still jump out I'm not gonna take someone's money who jokes about assisted suicide that, that's just wrong, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys have loose morals and are just... I'm, I'm not to offend you or anything, but... I just would never allow $10,000 to fall into my hand from a guy who jokes about that kind of stuff. I know it's a tough economy. You need to get money however you can, but... 
I I just couldn't handle it. Something I definitely will never do. You will never see me do. And I hope that when the time comes that something like it does happen so that uh, I'm good enough and there's a tournament like that, I do the exact opposite thing that would happen there and I tell him no. If I do do it, ah, slap me in the head, guys. Slap me, unsub for me. Don't let me do that, guys. Whatever you do, I'm calling on you guys to be my support for that kind of stuff. I should need support, but if I do, I'm calling on you guys to help me there. Um, the other thing he did was he pulled out a blow up doll and sex toys. No, I'm sorry. For those of you who are younger, please skip ahead a bit. I, I would never limit my audience like that, and I would never make my audience who is watching that draft to see what my team is. I would never let my audience see that. I try to keep my audience so that we all know six year olds play the Xbox. Black Ops is played by a wide age variety, even though you're supposed to be 18 to play it. Heck, I'm not even 18, I'm 15. I'm not going to make it so that somebody else who is uh, younger than me or my age has to watch something like that. I would drop out and say, anyone who is watching for my team, please leave. I do not support this, and I uh, hope that the rest of you guys also make a good decision on this matter. It's... I, I don't... I kind of do hold the machinima guys to blame for this. I really wish they would have done something different and dropped out right then and then. I wish they would have cut the live stream short when the assisted suicide thing happened. I wish they would cut it short when the blow up doll happened. I just wish things would have gone totally different. Here I finally had some teammates by the way guys. End of the game, but hey, some teammates. Wish it would have happened. It didn't. I'm kind of ashamed in uh, basically the whole machinima because almost everyone there was a machinima director. Really kind of saddened that Seen Anner's point that everyone's doing it for the money, right there it comes to truth, and hopefully we'll see what comes out of this tournament, we'll see if it co still goes on, I hope it doesn't, if it does, oh well, I guess we're going to learn how loose people's morals are around here, hope they're not too loose, other than that guys, have a nice day, remember to like, dislike, and comment, subscribe if you be so kind, and uh, I'll see you on the far side, and hopefully you'll see me there too.